And in the movie world, actors Zach Orji and Lancelot Odua Imaswen and others win big on the final night at the Coal City Film Festival. More on this coming your way now. <laughs> When thinking of Nollywood, Enugu State is rarely mentioned, despite being the birthplace of Nigerian films in the East. For the first time in the history of Enugu State, we are, we are starting this festival. I thought of the fact that almost every program when it comes to festivals happen in Lagos, Abuja, other parts of the country, but never in Southeast Nigeria. And so that's why we decided to say we want to bring such things down here, that's the one. And two, we want to open the doors of Southeast Nigeria to the rest of the world through films. Because film, like we know, is a very strong instrument. And anybody who understands the instrumentality of the film will understand that it's something that you can actually use to influence a people. And then lastly, because when we talk about the history of Nollywood, you really cannot say much about history of Nollywood without mentioning Enugu. Most of the great stars that we have today called the big stars, the legendary stars, the actors, the filmmakers, they were all made here. Talk about the Igodo, the Sakabas, the August Meeting, all the evergreen movies you can think about were made here. So how else can we you know, pay back the state than to you know, organize this festival once in a while in the city? Historically, the southeastern state of Enugu spearheaded the importation of video cassettes in the country and subsequently was instrumental in the production and distribution of the video cassette version of Living in Bondage, a 1992 film that changed the way movies would be distributed forever. We're happy that the movie industry is moving. When we started in the 70s, we never knew that it would be this, this successful. And today it is very it is a success. Upcoming and aspiring actors and film industry practitioners showed up and were elated to see something of this caliber happening in the East. I'm an actor and an upcoming actor actually. And when I saw this program on Instagram, I was really excited because since my five years of being in Inungo, I've not seen anything like this. I was really excited and then I came here and it's been mind-blowing. I mean like all the actors I've been seeing since I was a child are all here and then I get to meet with them and interact with them. It's been really insightful. I got to listen from the famous Zach Oji. Like I was so happy to see him and then hearing him speak was much more wonderful because he was breaking down the rudiments of acting bit by bit so it was really amazing. And I'm so happy for this program. I'm happy that I'm attending the first ever Coast City Film Festival. And I hope so stuff like this keep happening because we only get to see this kind of stuff in like Lagos and Abuja. We have to travel over there. But having something like this come to the eastern parts of the country is it's really wonderful. And I'm really happy to be a part of it. It's wonderful, I must say. It. I've seen more than what I expected. Right from day one, I wasn't here on the second day, but today being the third day, wow, it's amazing. The film I watch, um, Black Rose, the people I've mostly I've met a lot of contact. So I must say, it's awesome. Film festivals offer diverse, tangible resources for those within the industry. For festivals, frankly, we do not have enough in Nigeria. We haven't even started. Uh, festivals, uh, it's not just about films, they're networking platforms, okay? And uh, beyond the networking, it's also a place where you hold master classes as well for young filmmakers and then you have you know industry sessions and all of that so uh, and also festivals do quite a lot for the hosting city as well you know and the community where it's held so um, for young filmmakers and people who are just getting into the industry it affords them an opportunity to meet with their peers from all over the world or wherever other filmmakers are coming from 
they're able to interact with older filmmakers and more experienced filmmakers. And sometimes too, your film might just hit the right spot with, with some producer or some distributor and it opens doors for you. So there's quite a lot of opportunities that are open, you know, uh, through film festivals for filmmakers, whether young or experienced. Veteran actors in attendance, such as Zach Orji, Lancelot Odua Imaswen, were among some of those awarded this year. This Coast City Film Festival, that I was an active part of, and honestly, I never expected this, but it gives me a great deal of pleasure to receive it. Film festivals not only celebrate the outstanding work of those within the industry, but also provides exclusive insider knowledge through seminars and open discussions. The advice is there, both old and new. I'm advising the new filmmakers to look at the works of the old filmmakers, improve on what they have done, improve on what they have seen on ground, and take up from there and take the movie industry to the highest stand. The Coal City Film Festival set out to bring Enugu its much-deserved recognition for its part in Nollywood, and its maiden edition has been a success. Yeah,